Hi guys, it is me again. I am here in Pula, Croatia for a month. The last time you saw me, I was in Bali, but I'm here now to attend this amazing event, this month long event called Mind Valley. So it's been about four months since my last video and I feel like I owe you an, expla an explanation for my hiatus. I had this amazing dream. Right, so I said to myself that I was gonna leave my job in Sydney. I was gonna leave everything behind and move to Bali. And then there, I was going to quit my nine to five and start my own business. That is literally everyone's dream. I was living the dream. I was in Bali. All my friends are entrepreneurs and digital nomads. There's no schedule. You can do whatever you want. Start your own business and be your own boss. I'm surrounded by such smart people and such amazing resources. There was no chance I was gonna fail, right? No chance at all. I was wrong. It was so much harder than I expected it to be. I was still working part-time for my job in Sydney, so that took a lot of my time. And then I was also doing audiobooks on the side, which took some of my time as well. And then I wanted to do the YouTube because it was what I said I would do when I had left Sydney. And that was taking up time. And then your social commitments with your friends is taking up time. Going to the gym is taking up time. It was just so overwhelming. I, I, I couldn't do all of it. And because my time was split between five different things rather than focusing on one, I wasn't making any progress. I started asking myself, is this what I want to be doing? Did I make the right choice? Did I literally give up everything? To, to become this digital nomad. Am I even meant to be one of these? Is this the right lifestyle? It was just so horrible. I was crying every day. I was depressed and it just sucked. So to, to the world, my life looked perfect. You know, I have all these happy go lucky videos on my Instagram and I was living the dream. But for me, my everyday was chaotic and I cry so much. It, it was, it was a mess. So that's why I decided to take a, a break. I started reading books, I started, do, I started journaling, and I really tried to dig deep and uncover my feelings. And I learned a few things, and, and those were the six, and those are the six lessons that I want to share with you guys today that, that I have learned along the way on this journey. So I just wanted to be really honest. Um, that's kind of my whole my whole youtube channel is just going to be me being very honest and i don't want to lie to you i don't want to make it sound like this is easy that everything was just freaking rainbows and unicorns over here because it really wasn't so these are the six things that i had learned number one to really set realistic expectations you know i came to bali thinking I'm going to start a successful business in six months. I'm going to become extremely YouTube famous in six months. Bullshit. No one does that. Have you seen anybody successful blow up in six months? No. It took Gary Vee 10 years to get to where he is. So why? Why am I that, that anomaly that is going to blow up in six months? Like, it's just unrealistic. And I was upset because my dream world was not fulfilled. I thought that I could start a new business, I could work part time, I could have free time for myself. I, I just wanted everything and you can't have everything. Um, so just be really realistic with your expectations because if not, you're the one that's going to suffer and it just really, really sucks and it sucks for the people around you. Um, and number two, to take accountability for your own actions. During my time in Bali, I would always blame the reason I wasn't making progress on other people. I'd say it was Bali and the weather, it was because I couldn't get around, they didn't have the proper health care that I wanted, and I was just blaming, blaming everything around me for my own failures and why I wasn't happy. And it, it's just not true. It's, it's not true at all. Like, you can't just put those blame that blame on other people because really that's excuses for yourself for, for why you chose not to take an action. And then that really leads me to the next thing which is inaction is the worst feeling in the world. So if you choose not to do anything then you've already failed. Like I was always so scared of committing to something because I was scared that I would fail. But not making a decision was worse. Like, I wasn't sure if I wanted to stay working part-time. I wasn't sure if I should keep going with the audiobooks. And then just 
having 500 things to worry about every day is just so is so unproductive for yourself and it, it really like puts a toll on you and the fourth thing is just don't be so hard on yourself i was so hard on myself because of my unrealistic expectations and i those expectations i realized were not coming from other people it wasn't because my parents said i had to make money it wasn't because my boyfriend said i had to do that it was coming from me these were expectations that i created for myself that were not real in reality nobody gives a shit about what you are doing nobody cares if you are winning or losing because they're not sitting there waiting for your next move they're not watching you they're living their own life so don't be so hard on yourself and and take care of yourself really take care of yourself i was beating myself up so much for everything and people hated hearing it i'm gonna be honest it was annoying and and you I never wanted to be that person. Yeah, I just I just really had to learn that the hard way. And number five, this one is so, so important for, and it's just becoming extremely relevant now, which is mindset is everything. The moment that my mindset switched from hating my situation and disliking Bali, everything turned around, right? And you realize that when you have a bad mindset, then everything that happens to you is bad. You spill your coffee, then you hate it, you're upset, um, you're late for something, you get pissed off because you just have a really negative mindset. But if you have a good mindset, then you will look at every single thing that happens to you in your life as a positive action. For example, in Bali, I got bit by a dog on the street, random dog literally thought i got rabies so i had to go get the rabies shot that cost me four thousand dollars like when i was paying for it i was in shock like how can it cost me four thousand dollars for a rabies shot but you know it's okay it's not that big of a deal i didn't get rabies it cost me a bit of money but what it did taught but what it did teach me was how glad and happy and thankful that i was that i had, had bought travel insurance so I just learned from that always get travel insurance and it all it became a joke of like yeah well i got travel insurance so now it just because it's worth it it was worth it for that shot i needed to get that shot um that travel insurance it, it was necessary for me to get bitten or else uh, it i would have wasted my money getting that travel insurance and then every little thing like if you just look at it as a positive experience a learning experience and not a failure I, I truly believe that that will revolutionize everything. I've been seeing it more recently now. I've just been being a bit more calm, taking everything in a positive light. And day after day, I feel like I'm hitting my goals. I'm one step closer to my goals because I don't think of it as me falling back or failing at something, but it's just learning. It is really just learning. There is no failure at all. and. This is something that I struggle with a lot, which brings me to point number six, which is a really big lesson for me, is it is okay to be vulnerable. Like, you all see me here, I have a big personality, and with that comes an ego. I definitely have an ego, and I learned that it is okay to be vulnerable and to put your ego away. I'm not always going to be the best at everything, and there are people that are way better than me in their field, and I need to be able to step down and listen to what others have to say and learn from them. If someone is giving me feedback about like why I have uncertainty and why I, I can't control my emotions, like I want to, to put my ego down and be like, I agree with you, and I am willing to get better. Because if not, your ego will always stand in the way from anyone that wants to offer you help because you just are way, you're just in your own head thinking that you're the best when you're really not. There's there's so many people that are better than you. You're not special. So my question for you is how many of you have been there before? How many of you have tried to take that leap and then got caught halfway and then are just lost now and then don't know what to do? Like you started with so much momentum. You knew this is my goal. This is exactly what I'm going to do. And then you started going down that path and you're like, fuck. I'm so lost. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I'm confused. I don't have anyone to support me because that's that's kind of how I felt. And I, you know, earlier I was telling myself 
I wish someone had taught me these things rather than having to sit through them the last six months and then just feel so awful. It was so hard. But that's what the old me would have thought. The new me is looking at it as, great, there were tough times, but you know what? You're gonna learn from those tough times. If you didn't suffer through those tough times, you wouldn't know how bad it feels and you won't have that motivation to change it for yourself. So for me, I'm looking at it as, it was fucking hard, but I never wanna feel that way again, so I'm gonna do everything in my power to not let that happen again. So for me, and for you, you should think of it as an amazing motivation to just go and take it one step further. If you are on a similar journey, show some love. Like, comment, and subscribe. There, there's just so much to learn, and so many of us are in the same boat, but none of us want to talk about it. We're all too scared to show that, fuck, I don't know what to do next. But. I'm here, to, I'm here, I'm here with you. I'm struggling with you. I have no idea what I'm doing. Every day here, I'm surrounded by the smartest people at Mind Valley, and they're teaching me something new. They're teaching me all the parts about myself that are broken, that I thought were, were qualities of myself. Like when I thought, oh, I'm strong. No, I'm not strong, I'm just being, I just have a fucking ego, right? And they're just breaking me down and building me up again. I really want to share that journey with you. So that is it for today, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe, follow me. I want to hear from you. I really, really want to hear from you. If any of you have been here before, please leave a comment. So I will see you in the next video.